There's no denying that 343 did an amazing job with this. Forging Halo Infinite is like giving the player their own developer tools. It's so in-depth and your creative mind can literally just go to work. This will seriously pave the way for the community to just have fun in Halo Infinite again, rather than having to be heavily reliant on that ridiculously heavy skill-based matchmaking system that's continuously smashing you. in games. But this could also give 343 Industries some inspiration going forward with their map designs and also maybe short stories and even spin-offs for the campaign itself. We've seen some insane creations so far which you could easily implement some short stories within them that could be spin-offs within that six month period of where Chief was missing or when all the Spartans and the Marines were on the ring after evacuating the Infinity. There's so many different things you can do and I'm looking forward to seeing some of these short stories that the community are going to come up with. But today, we're going to look at exactly that. Some of these amazing creations within Forge and the unofficial build of Forge, which is released at the moment, to show you just the pure potential of this mode and some of the amazing things have been created before you can even save things in this mode. It's all out of love, all out of passion, and that's where you get the best creation. So I thought I'd do this video today, guys, as a Sunday chill to have a look, sit back, and just see what we're looking forward to here. But leave a rating down below, everyone. All the links to these videos will be down below in the description. Please go and show them some love. Some of them have took so long to make. And I can only imagine what it's like to not be able to save your work when you're super happy with it. So, yeah, go there, show them some love, guys. But without further ado, let's dive straight in. Now, the first one is something actually really breathtaking, to be honest. Omni Payment has taken... This is some form of medieval type market or town and it's stunning to look at. At the top of the map there's a train which can run directly around this map as well which can be scripted to run by the way and I think you may have created this train and then scripted that creation to run as a train which in itself is crazy. Banished behind the counters and the stalls as well, and fire being one of the main sources of lighting throughout. The eerie vibe and just the pouring rain go hand in hand together. And I, I, I personally love a good horror map. I love a good atmospheric feeling map and campaign or story, whatever it is. And this really does it for me. All links will be down below to go see the full video of this and go show Omni some love as well. This is a really insane creation and I can imagine this has took a long, long time for them to create. So go show them some love down below. This is only a teaser, by the way, as well. So the full release of this will be coming out very soon. Again, you can't save this right now. So maybe 343 can think of a way to export some of these in crazy, crazy builds into the full release of Forge uh, just so these are saved for us to play and saved for the creators as well and their hard work. During the 343 Forge showcase the other day, one of the members of the 343 Forge team created a cyberpunk themed map in which they created to show off Forge's infinite potential. But Infinite Forges said, hold my beer and went on to do this. Infinite Forge decides to take it upon himself to recreate this, but with much better atmosphere, lighting, and the cyberpunk smoke effect really playing a big part. I love cyberpunk aesthetic at the best of times, and I actually think that it could fit extremely well into Halo and the lore of Halo. I mean, this is a very small snippet of the map in general, just because there's no point creating an entire city because it's not going to be able to save it. Yeah, you know, this is 
just a case of making it out of pure love and passion to share with the community as to what you can do. But if this is what we can do in the unofficial version of Forge that can't be saved, imagine what the creators and developers and things are going to be able to do and want to do when the full release comes out and you can save it. So rather than having a small snippet or alleyway or street as to what we can see now, think of like cities, actual towns, villages and things like that that you're going to be able to actually go through, look at, and maybe with the scripting of AI, it could be brought to life. The next is one pretty close to my heart personally, a Borderlands themed map in Halo. I loved Borderlands back in the day. Borderlands 2 was one of my favourite games of all time. Really, really liked it. And this is just really, really sick. Big shout out to the creator of this, Karmaplex. All links are down below to the original YouTube video. Go check it out. You can see it all and everything along those lines as well. Really interesting. But we have the base with the turrets on guard. Claptrap just chilling on top of the custom made vehicle as well, which also looks very interesting. And just much more scattered around. Now, just to note, Karmaplex did say this is a massive work in progress and it it is unfinished at the moment but this is really starting to come together and it looks great good job karmaplex i'm really looking forward to the final product of this to see what else happens with it however we're not going away from karmaplex just yet we are looking at this insane spongebob map <laughs> that he created If this doesn't show you that pretty much anything is possible in Halo Infinite Forge, then I don't know what will. So I've said this so many times in looking at Forge and looking at some of the creations with the scripting and stuff like that. And it looks as though you may actually be able to create short stories within Halo Infinite Forge. This is one thing that I have absolutely hoped that you could do because this will open the creative mind of so many lore fanatics that are just good at creating in forge adding to the story short stories here and there non-canon of course but just to spice things up a little bit and what you're about to see right now does take things to a complete different level So someone literally scripted a pelican drop-off sequence in Forge. Now, this was reminiscent of the silent cartographer and it was inspired by that. But this just shows that you don't only just build in Forge, but the experience of entering and potentially exiting the map can be changed too. This could mean that we could potentially see things like extraction royales in Forge and created through Forge. Obviously, an extraction royale was the likes of Escape from Tarkov. You're dropped into the map and you have to get from one side of the map to the other while looting, killing, whatever it might be, and then successfully 
escaping. It could suit Halo really well. I'm looking forward to seeing what the community make with it. And this could make for a really fun custom games mode. Now, <laughs> I want to do a section on Red Nomster. Yeah, some of his creations are pretty mind-blowing, to be honest. And that's why I want to do a section on just his creations itself, because some of them are just mad. The first thing I want to show is something that really blown me away, to be honest. And that's an underwater exploration map. From the atmosphere that it has to seeing floating marines and their battle rifles in the sunken drop pod to literally scripting underwater gliders i'm i mean imagine having a short spin-off story within this map this would be one of the life pods potentially that was downed when leaving the infinity and within the life pod was a note to the soldier's family or something like that forge can create these insane short stories like no other mode can and I'm all for that. I would love to be able to drop into a map, do a couple of objectives that have been scripted, and then find like a note that's been pre-written by someone and that's created the map. And it's a really touching note from the soldier's family saying how he wants to go home and that he can't wait to go home or something like that. You know, do you know what I mean? Like these stories are just what would make Halo Infinite Forge that little bit better. Just to give us the creativity to go in the directions of the story that we want to and create those scenes that potentially we wouldn't have seen within Halo Infinite, if you know what I mean. So exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I really hope that Red Nomster, Infinite Forges and things like that can also get the full potential out of this. And finally, Andy's room. I've literally got no words for this, to be honest. I mean, all I'm thinking about when looking at this is imagine a CTF game in Andy's room on Toy Story. Fighting around all the toys, under and on top of the bed, utilizing vehicles to traverse around the map too and off that big ramp in the center. This is, of course, still a massive work in progress, but from what I've seen so far, this could be a really popular map, especially if it can be saved. As I mentioned, I really hope 343 can find a way to save some of these maps, not just from Red Lobster, but from other creators as well, because some of them are just, they're just mental. And again, in Forge right now, there's, there's no option to save. So all of these creations are essentially just out of love and passion for creating things and being creative in Halo. So 343, 
please do this for us, please. Find a way to save some of these creations so that they don't have to spend all of that time doing it again because these are they're just next level but that's going to do it for today's video guys i hope you have enjoyed a little sneak peek of some of the insane bits on the channel if you did like this and you want to see more things like this which i'm very happy to do until the release of forge leave a rating on the video let me know in the comments down below what you think of forge and if you're excited for it ultimately i personally my wish list for forge would be to have a file share system but also have a system that you can follow creators that would be amazing. For example, I could follow Red Nomster. I could follow Infinite Forges. I could follow whoever I wanted to. And I could just see when they've created new things. I could potentially see things they're working working on, work in progresses and things like that. I would love more features like this to interact with creators, give them ratings and things like that too. So we'll have to wait and see. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Leave a rating, subscribe if you're brand new. We'll see you all in the next one.